Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Hi everybody, today we are going to learn about proof by induction. So there are five steps to follow to complete this kind of question. So what are the five steps? The first step is we want to define the proposition and the proposition we always write it as PN. And the second step is to prove PR, where R equals to 1. The third step is to assume PK. And the fourth step, which is the most important step, is to prove pk plus 1 using the assumption above, which is pk. And the fifth step is to write down the inductive conclusion, which is similar in every single kind of question. So you just have to memorize the sentence So let us see how to prove a formula relating to the summation of series using proof by induction. So the question asks us to prove that the sum of r squared is equal to 1 over 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 by induction. So the first step is to define the proposition. So what is the proposition here? So we say that pn, which is the sum of r squared equals to 1 over 6n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, which is you just have to straight away copy from the question. And then you write for some positive integer n. And that is the first step. Then the second step is to prove p1. So how do you prove that? So we know that when n equals to 1, the left hand side of the equation is the sum of r equals to 1 until 1 so which is r r squared so 1 squared and 1 squared is 1 and then for the right hand side we substitute 1 into the equation and then we got 1 over 6 times 1 times 2 times 3 which is equals to 6 over 6 and 1. So left hand side equals to right hand side. We say that P1 is true. And the third step is to assume PK. So assume PK is true. So this is a rather easy mark. And the fourth step, the hardest part, is to prove PK plus 1. So the sum of r squared from 1 to k plus 1 is equivalent to the sum of r squared from 1 to k plus k plus 1 squared. Okay, and then we also know that the sum of r squared, the formula is 1 over 6 times k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus k plus 1 squared and then now we simplify this equation further 
So we will get 1 over 6 times k plus 1 times the rest as we factorize out the k plus 1 component. So once we factorized it, we further simplify the bracketed equations. So we will get 2k squared plus 7k plus 6. And this too can be further factorized into k plus 2 times 2k plus 3. And we know that k plus 2 is equivalent to k plus 1 plus 1, whereas 2k plus 3 is equivalent to 2k plus 1 plus 1. So we can say that pk plus 1 is true if pk is true. We have successfully pr proven the pk plus 1 and now is the last step which is generic for all sort of questions. So you just have to memorize this. Since p1 is true, p2 is true and by induction pn is true for all values of positive integer n. Now, let us see how to prove a proposition concerning the divisibility of an expression using proof by induction. So in this example, it wants us to prove by induction that 10 to the power of 3n plus 38 to the power of n plus 35 is divisible by 37 for all positive integers n. So, let us first let phi n equals to 10 to the power of 3n plus 38 to the power of n plus 35. Okay, and then we start with the first step, which is the proposition pn. So this equation phi n is divisible by 37 for some positive integer n. Then the second step is to let n equals to 1. So 5 over 1 equals to 10 to the power of 3 plus 38 plus 35, which is equals to 1073. And 1073 is a multiple of 37, so it's the 29 times 37. So we can say that P1 is true. And then we move on to the third step, which is assume pk is true. Now the fourth step, the most complicated ones. So when you're trying to do divisibility test, it is a bit different from the summation of series one. In this case, it wants to do the minus. So subtraction of 5k plus 1 minus 5k equals to 10 to the power of 3 times k plus 1 plus 38 to the power of k plus 1 plus 35 minus the 5k which is 10 to the power of 3k plus 38k plus 35 and we know that 10 to the power of 3 is 1000 
so 1000 times 10 to the power of 3k plus and 38 times 38 to the power of k is 38k plus 1 they are the same and then minus 10 to the power of 3k minus 38 to the power of k and we know that the 35 cancels all right so we can then immediately see that there are 1000 10 to the power of 3k and we need to minus one of it so what we are left with is 999 10 to the power of 3k and similarly for 38k there are 38 of them so you minus one you are left with 37 so what you're going to do now is to factorize 37 out of these two and if you manage to do so it proves that both of these are divisible by 37 so it is doable because 999 is 27 times 37 therefore 5k plus 1 minus 5k is divisible by 37 but we also know that just now we have assumed that pk is true so 5k is definitely divisible by 37 so since it is divisible by 37 it must be for the 5k plus 1 divisible by 37 as well so we know that now in this case pk plus 1 must be true And for the last statement, again, just memorize this. Since P1 is true, P2 is true, and by induction, Pn is true for all values of positive integer n. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the mark scheme just doesn't seem to help, genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.